Hey guys, it's G and we're back. It's been a long, long time, but we're back and we're better. So let's just cut it. It's, oop, it is July, I said July. It is January 1st, okay? And I'm trying to like, it's obviously not, today's not January 1st, but I'm posting this on January 1st. Yeah, it's not January 1st. It's more like January 24th. Oops. And I want to look a little snazzy for New Year's. So your girl's going to do her hair and some butterfly locks, okay? So we're going to take this journey together because I don't know what I'm doing. I've done locks before, but I've never done like butterfly locks. And I want them down to my boot. Hey, okay? I'm not going to keep you guys here for that long. So we're just going to like get straight into it i guess right now i'm gonna just fast forward to future gia so she can let you know what you guys need because right now i'm just about to use anything and see what works for the first couple locks and then whatever happens happens at that point so you guys won't have to talk so to the her. first thing you're gonna need are rubber bands to make your like your separations in your hair and obviously a rat tail comb to separate your hair properly and in my opinion these make the cleanest like parts then you're gonna need your free choice braiding crochet hair and obviously a moisturizer of your choice. I had a different moisturizer, one that I made myself. That is an upcoming video. Oh, and regular braiding hair. Now that you guys are back, what we're gonna do is, you know, get started. So first thing that I did was I washed and blow dried my hair. I don't know if any of that is really, well actually y'all seen that I had those braids in my hair and I had them in for almost two months at this point. So yeah, I definitely washed and blow dried my hair. This is what my hair is looking like. And so we're just gonna start to separate them because I don't know what I'm doing, okay? I don't know what I'm doing. So we're gonna do our parts first. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So I'm just starting to try to like separate the back of my head. I always start at the back of my head and then I work my way forward. But boy, I stayed like trying to separate my hair in a straight line for a good like 10 minutes for the first row. So yeah. Okay, so now that I sort of made kind of like a straight line, I like part my hair into parts, I guess. And then I moisturized it with my moisturizer, which I still haven't told you guys what it was yet, but as soon I will. And then I start to braid it my hair down and then as soon as I like finish braiding the top I like start to like twist it down so I don't braid the whole thing down because I feel like that consumes a lot of time and yeah I just continue that for the whole time so we've worked our way up to the top of my head finally um this process took maybe about like an hour and a half to two hours just to get my hair in this so I put like my moisturizer on my hair and as you can see like I braid my hair down to a little bit and then I just twist it all the way down and I just repeat until I'm done. And this is what my hair looks like fully done, fully braided. You can see I have a lot of parts so this is just the beginning guys. Okay I'm going to try to explain this the best way that I can. This one's kind of going pretty fast but I'm going to just outline it pretty quick for you guys and then there's another clip where you will be able to see it better in detail. But at first I'm just going to crochet my hair which is what the blonde hair is. It's just braiding, regular braiding hair. And then I take the free twist crochet hair and I comb or brush it out, whichever one you prefer, and I start to twist it along the hair until I reach the end and I'll twist it until like it's secure. Um, but I'll just come back to you guys when we actually get to the more detailed look. Oh, also that little fluffy part, if you get fluffy parts like those, um, from like twisting very loosely, just take any little like strand, the piece of hair that you have floating around at the free twist here and just like wrap it around. It'll look secure. It'll look fine. It'll blend. But here we have like the better like example, I gotta say. So you take your regular braiding hair and you, you crochet it through your actual like hair braided if that makes any sense at all. You don't have to braid it into your hair, you don't have to crochet it and then braid it into your hair. It's just for length, so I just like leave it free flowing as is. Then I take my free twist crochet hair and then I brush it out and then I try to secure the root by twisting it several times on the top. When I feel like it's secure, that's when I start to co like twist it all the way through down. When you get to the bottom, you should have like a little piece at the end um, to secure the end of your lock. Just keep twisting and twisting and twisting until there's no pieces left. 
but as you can see I had to use several pieces because my locks were pretty long um, usually if you twisted it like I said till the bottom is like completely like not gonna come out like it's just like stuck like that it's gonna stay I'm trying my best to explain this I didn't really explain it that well I'm super sorry so I'm hoping the visualization will help you guys better So this is the part that I was saying, you're going to have a little piece at the end and you just twist and twist and twist until like there's nothing left and it's completely secure and it's not going to fall out. This like removes the like possibility for you having to like put it under fire or having to glue it so that it stays. But yeah guys, this is the ending of my lock tutorial. It did take me about 12 hours to do this. It took a long time. In the end, I didn't have enough hair so I kind of had to like work with what I had. I think the next day I did go out and get more hair and like, you know, try to cover up the pieces that you could see like the free braiding hair in. But yeah guys, this is my final look for my locks. I love them. They're super heavy though, but I feel like it's worth it. I'm not, I think locks can last between two to four months and I'm going to be definitely keeping mine in for a minute. So yeah, I think it was worth, worth the 12 hours and on top of that, you know, it's a protective style. So. In the end, these are the results that I got, and then there's a few pictures of me with my locks. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If we get this to 20 likes, I will do a more in-depth video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys!